When you have different devices on the same interface, you can actually split them into groups and assign each group a different guaranteed bandwidth. You do it using a traffic shaping on the interface itself. Let's see how. To create a traffic shaping on an interface, you will need to uh, create address objects for the different objects or devices on your interface that you wish to guarantee specific bandwidth. So in our case, let's look at finance, which is at the 10.0.7.0 subnet. Now I've already created two address objects. Let's just look at them. Those are PC1 and PC2. One is at the 10.0.7.11, and the second is at the 10.0.7.22. My aim is to give PC1 10% of the bandwidth and PC2 90%. You can, of course, change it per your needs. So the very first thing that you will need to do is to create a traffic shaping policy. Let's create a new one. Now we'll create a traffic shaping for PC1. The source is PC1. Destination is all, service is all. You can, of course, change it to each service that you wish to apply those um, limits. Now, in the action, you assign shaping class ID. The outgoing interface is our WAN interface. And in the traffic shaping class ID, you can actually assign different class IDs. Just press the create. Now, you have up to 31 class IDs. Let's choose class number 10. No, 10 is already uh, taken. So let's choose class ID number 5. Let's name it 5 also. All right. So we'll assign it class ID of 5. Okay. Let's create another shaping uh, policy for PC2. Source is PC2. Destination is all, service all, assigned shaping class ID, the outgoing interface is our WAN interface, and let's create another class ID number six. Okay, now let's apply that. So we have two traffic shaping policies. Now let's move to traffic shaping profile. In shaping profile, we actually define the profile that we will enable on the interface later. So the profile is finest, let's name it finest, and let's create new profile. Now, the first class ID is five, that belongs to PC1. The guaranteed bandwidth is 10% of the total bandwidth. The maximum is also 10%. Let's give them both priority of high, okay? All right, so let's just choose class ID of six, guaranteed bandwidth 90%, and priority high. Okay, now we have a new profile, which is the finance profile. We have two class IDs with a different guaranteed and maximum bandwidth. You can also see the illustration here. Okay. The last thing that you will need to do is to move back to your network interface, finance, let's edit this one, and on the traffic shaping, let's just enable outbound shaping profile, the shaping profile that we have just created is finance. Now you will need to specify your interface bandwidth, so in my case it's 100 megabits. And there we have it.